Everybody, can we just lift our hands as we worship Him? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you today. We bless your name, your wonderful, mighty God. There's none like you. Hallelujah. We exalt your great name. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. You're worthy. You're all together lovely. There's none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, I will enter in his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter in his courts with praise. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord today? Are you glad to be in the house of the Lord today? I like every person in this house. Just come one bench forward. One bench forward. Everybody in the house, just come one bench forward. Come one bench forward. So you skip over the other bench. One bench forward. Quickly. And we are going to come into our service this morning. Come, brethren, I don't want to wait long. Come one bench forward. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Let's lift our hands and worship Jesus. He is worthy this morning. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Oh, clap your hands, holy people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Oh, clap your hands, holy people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Oh, clap your hands, holy people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Oh, clap your hands, holy people. 
of triumph. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It's worship time. It's worship time. We're going to have the morning's lesson being read by Sister Sanya Kamok. In Jesus' name. Praise God. This morning, lesson is coming to you from St. Luke 9, reading from 1 to 26. And then we'll read 62. And we'll read alternate verses. When you find it, say amen. I'll begin. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure disease. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your, for your journey, neither staves, nor scrip, nor bread, neither money, neither of two coats apiece. And whosoever will not receive you when ye go out of the city, sake for the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went into the town, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Now Era the church heard, heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed because that it was said of some that John was risen from the dead. And of some that Elias had appeared, and of others that one of the old prophets was risen again. And Herod said, John have I beheaded, but who is this of whom I hear such thing? And he desired to see him. And the people, when they knew it, followed him, and he received them, and spake unto them of kingdom of God, and healed them that had needed of healing. And he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we should go and buy meat for all these people. And they did so and made them all sit down. And they did eat and were all filled, and there was taken up of frame, fragments that remained to them twelve baskets. It came to pass, as he was alone praying, the disciples were with him, and he asked them, saying, Who gave the They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, and others say that one of the old prophets is risen again. He said unto them, But who say he that I am? Peter answering said, Christ of God. And straightly charged them and commanded them to eat no man that thing. And he said to them, All, if any man will come, cross daily and follow me.
26. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words of him, shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come into the, his own glory and his fathers and of his holy angels. We'll read 20, 50, 62 together. And looking back, it is faithful. Here ends the reading of God's holy word. Praise God, everyone. We are going to go to our hymnal, hymn number 29, Send the Light. And we are going to sing to the glory of God. There's a call come ringing over a restless wave. Send the light. There's a call come ringing over a restless wave. Send the light. Send the light. They are so
higher ground. Surely this is not our home. We are but passing through. The Bible said we are sojourners and pilgrims here. Hallelujah. And we are going to a better land in view. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's my privilege this morning to greet everyone that is in the house. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To greet those who are online worshiping with us. We are glad to have your presence. And those who are in the house, we are glad to have you. And we are going to worship the Lord today. There's a theme that I saw on the board. It says, stand militant, stay militant, take dominion, reap in time. That's a serious theme. Stay militant, take dominion, reap in time. So we have to stand up for Jesus. And we have to take authority for what belongs to us. Can't allow the devil to take it away from us. Hallelujah. We have got the opportunity. And God has placed within us the Holy Ghost. To take authority. And we are going to take authority. For what God has given to us today. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands and worship the Lord everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We're going to sing one more song. Praise the Lord Jesus. Everybody, we're going to sing to the glory of God. I am a warrior, a Christian warrior, with me weapon in a mirror. I am a warrior. Let's sing, everybody. A Christian warrior.
I'm raging war Lord, the enemy Taking back what was stolen from me I am anointed and appointed I'm a mighty warrior in God's army I am anointed Yes, and appointed To put the enemy under my feet I am anointed Moving forward What was stolen from me, I am anointed and appointed. I'm a mighty warrior in God's army. I'm taking back my hand, back my joy, I'm taking back my peace, back my. I'm taking everything that is stolen from me, everything he took from my family. I'm taking back my shoulders, back my. Stolen from me, I am anointed and appointed. I'm a mighty warrior in God's army. Everybody, let's clap our hands to put the enemy under my feet. I am anointed, moving forward, no more defeat. I'm raging war on the enemy. Let's clap our hands, everybody! I am anointed and I'm a mighty warrior in God's army. I am anointed to put the enemy under my feet. I am anointed, moving forward, no more defeat. I'm raging war. Stolen from me, I am anointed and appointed. I'm a mighty warrior in God's army. Hallelujah! 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 Yes, we are mighty and strong. Hallelujah! And no enemy should be able to defeat us because we have got the power lies within us so we need to let it move hallelujah hallelujah we're gonna breathe the name of jesus let's call the name of jesus let's call the name of jesus come on there's power in the name of jesus 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you, you may be seated. Can't come to church and leave the way we came. We must see the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Is there somebody on my left with a testimony? Somebody in the middle and one on my right. Quickly, do so in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Amen.
Amen. That's right. Amen. One in the middle. One on my left. Praise God. Praise God. Oh 
do that just one more time when I need him. When I need him, I know where to find him. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. everybody and let's worship him thank you lord thank you lord thank you jesus we bless your name oh we worship you lord you are worthy god oh it's your only voice that makes the difference oh when we need you we know where to find you oh it's that place of prayer god we connect with you. Hallelujah. Hey, we worship you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know about you this morning, but I really feel to worship him. Oh, can we just lift our hands, open our mouths, and let's give him the praise. Let's worship him. He deserves it this morning. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Lord, we invite your presence. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, God. Spirit of the living God. Call the fresh on us this morning. Ah, we love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you, Holy Ghost. We welcome you. 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 We welcome you, Jesus. We welcome you. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I lift my hands to you. Oh, I lift my hands to worship you. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. He's worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Ah, all hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him, Lord of all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and worship him. Hallelujah. He deserves it. If we do nothing else, let's worship. Let's worship him. Ah, God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated, everyone. I'm going to invite Sister Denise Notice to come. And she's going to give us the report today in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is a good God. Amen? Is God a good God? Give us so many blessings. We undeserve and such a blessing to be into a new month today. Amen? So I'm here to do the greeting and to do the report. So can our visitors stand? And of course, I'm just seeing Geneva. Could you stand and just give a praise? Hallelujah. Praise God. And she's from Bethel, Stony Hill. Amen. Praise God. It's such a privilege to have you worship the worshiping with us today amen everybody amen. praise god and of course i'm seeing some face i know they are not visitor but time after time they've been visiting us amen everybody amen. so sister De um dion could you just stand and give a shout yes praise god praise god sister chris could you stand and give a shout Praise God. Praise God. Sister Tracy Ann, give a shout. In spite of everything, the Lord deserves a shout. Could you stand and give a shout? Hallelujah. Praise God. What a mighty God we serve. Amen, everybody? Angels bow before him. And of course, our brethren, is such a great privilege to have you into another Mission Sunday. Mission report date October 1st, 2023. Subject reporting on the past, present, and future. And of course, our team says stay militant, take dominion, reap in time. And of course, brethren, when I look up these two words, it means a lot. And if you think about it, being a soldier, they go through so much hardship. So we as a Christian, we just sing the song I'm taking back. When the enemy show up, are you going to still take back? Would you be still singing and shouting? We need to look into ourselves. Amen, everybody? Praise God. A greeting to all in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. Mission statement. To strengthen our base for a worldwide evangelize and by open and establishing a new work in under evangelized era of Jamaica as well as determining and promoting specific mission. Our last mission Sunday speaker was Deacon Brother Roddy that verse and of course his theme was I must be saved. Anybody remember that? And trust me, being in church for 50, 60, 100 years, 
And don't see Jesus, it won't worth it after all. Amen? We always often sing this song, Wasted Years. I don't know about you, but that, those words mean a lot to me. I don't want to be coming to church, and when all is said and done, all I get, depart, I know you not. Amen, everybody? So let that be our cry today, our mission offering, our mission ministry is imploring brethren, for those who don't have a tithe bag, I'm asking you, please, if you can get a tithe bag, or ask the usher, because where you can't go, your money will definitely go for you. And of course, upcoming events, you know, of course, we are going into mission convention. Amen, everybody? Amen. Can we say mission convention? So please to keep that in mind. You can start praying from now. Don't wait till we announce that we are going to prayer and fasting. Amen, everybody? Amen. And of course, we have our outreach, the mission department and the ladies' ministry. They come together and they went to visit Sister Precious. Everybody remember Sister Precious? So they went and they do combing up her hair and, you know, do the little necessary. And trust me. It was a blessing. I saw her dancing and smiling. It's just a great privilege when we can visit one another. Amen, everybody? And we should not wait until that person can't come to church. Amen? Amen? Praise God. Closing word. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. He promised not to leave you nor forsake you. And he is the same yesterday and forever. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'll ask the hushers to come at this time. Collect our tithes and offering. Can we stand? Can you pray, Sister Donnell? Amen. The musicians will pray. I will call it off.
stand and sing that song, everybody. Forgive me, oh, I need your grace. that we sing. For me, please put it back for me, please. Thank you, thank you. Can we read the words of that song, everybody? Read it, don't sing it, read it. Let's read it. convinced. I am really convinced because we sing the songs and I wonder if we really do what the song says. Lord, I'll serve you until my dying day. Help others find the way. This song is ministering to me. I don't know if it's ministering to you, but I'm convinced today. We're going to sing it again. Sing it, close your eyes, and think about it as you sing. Let's sing it, everybody. Please, Please forgive, forgive me. me. Please forgive me. It's our prayer. I need your grace to make it through. All I have is you. I'm at your mercy.
your mercy please forgive me I'm going to ask Pastor Danvers to come and he's going to introduce the choir and the speaker God bless you please forgive me I need your grace to make it through Forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me one more time. Please forgive me. One last time. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Lord. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. We are going to pray. There is a prayer request here. We have four persons need to be prayed for. And so for the sake of time, we're going to be praying for these names, these person. I want to encourage us. Um, there is a there is a relief there is a relief that the human needs you don't get it with Panadol or any form of ointment you don't get that relief with any nutritious food you don't get that relief by the type of bed you sleep in. The amount of money or things you have, you can't get that relief. The, the best relief we can get is when God forgive me. Can you raise your hand and say, Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. One more time. Lord, forgive me. Before, before I pray, before I pray, a very practical example, and this is towards the prayer request, a very practical example. In the multitude of men and women who lifted stone to stone this woman who caught in the act of adultery. The Bible says that she was condemned to be stoned, to die. 
But Sister Anya, when Jesus start to speak to in her spirit and he said woman where are the accuser any man have no sin let him first cast a stone she was waiting for her condemnation but Jesus looked at her and said woman where are the accuser and to make a long story short he said woman go thy way and sin no more. She got a relief because the Lord forgive her. Can you just raise your hand and say, Lord, please forgive me? Yes. Doesn't matter how I messed up. Doesn't matter how I fail him. When everybody's against me. And when Jesus look at my mess, he will say, woman, go thy way. She was free. She was, anybody feel freedom here today? When God forgives you, it brings a relief. It makes you free. And so we want to pray for the relief of Sister Ruthie Williams in the hospital. We want to bring relief for this person. Sister Ruth was ad admitted to the hospital Sister Kayla, mother in the person of Sister Geraldine Smith. She has been in the hospital. Brother Donald Fuller met in an accident and part of his body has been injured very badly. He can't work as you speak. So he's at home trying to recuperate. That's Brother Fuller. Brother Philbert Francis, he also not feeling well he's very sick and maybe there are other persons that your name is not here i'm afraid to say we are selfish if there's anybody else name has not been called for healing i want you to raise your hands whether you're a boy a girl a visitor a friend just say lord i need my healing lord i need, lord, I need my healing let us talk to him now. Lord Jesus, we come to you as often time we come. You're the same yesterday, today and forevermore. You, ne you never change. Your power remains the same. And so we have on the list Sister Ruth Williams, Sister Kayla, mother in the person of Sister Geraldine Smith, we have Brother Fuller and Sister Francis and Brother Francis, who is not well. We lift up their names to you right now in agreement, God, that there is a need to be supplied. And you can supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. And for those who raise their hands otherwise, you see their hands and you see even now the needs that they are having we pray right now jesus that you'll grant unto these hands that lifted and these names that has been lifted up to you we thank you for the healing right now in the name of jesus christ we pray as we repeat the word of god for by stripes we are healed by his stripes he are healed. Can we say it together one more time? By his stripes, he are healed. Praise the Lord. It's time with Christ. We're going to minister in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands, everybody? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, God. Could we stand in the house tonight? Today, could we just stand in the house today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. Could you just shout a big hallelujah in the house? Hallelujah. If you came here to worship, really, really worship the Lord. Come on, just pull out of the stock right now and just shout a big hallelujah. Yes, we're here to worship the Lord. Could we shout a big hallelujah? Thank you, Jesus. Just worship, continue worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. this morning. Anybody just want to pull on the stuff this morning and give him the praise. Hallelujah. He deserves the praise this morning. He's worthy. Yes. Yes, he's worthy. Yes. honor of who you are the precious rose of Sharon you are the bright and morning star the lily of the valley the lamp of sinner slave you are yes, yes. and you were that can compare the rock that I can run to when my heart is filled with pain the precious rose of Sharon the lamp of sinner slay you are yes you are Lord and you're worthy Today, Jesus, you deserve it, Lord. We give you the praise today. Yeah. You're worthy, you're worthy, and you reign in majesty, Lord. We give you praise. I said, There is none beside you. That can't compare the rock that I can run to when my heart is filled with pain. The precious rose of Sharon, the lamp of sinner slay. You are, you are king, and you're worthy, you're worthy. Say, Lord, Jesus, 
Lord, we salute you today. We worship you. We honor you, my King. We give you all of the praise. Yes, Lord, you're worthy. opportunity to um, today's mission Sunday stay militant and take dominion to reap it's 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 aggressive times so we have to do things in an aggressive manner yeah you can't just be softy softy uh, only the toughest of the toughest shall survive you have to have radical face for radical times and guess what? And your praise have to change. You have, you, you have to have some radical worship. You can't use the same kind of a finky finky worship. You know what? Praise the Lord, somebody! Somebody say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Hallelujah! hallelujah. Doesn't matter what hell break loose. Somebody say, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord, somebody! I'm not the preacher today, but I feel like I'm going somewhere. Praise the Lord, everyone. But let me just submit to you the protocols that follows in this mission service. I greet everyone present. Just remain standing. Those online, those who are watching us by other devices, we greet you in Jesus' name. And today's Mission Sunday. And of course, we want to encourage you that you're at the right place at the right time to write someone. And I want you to pray. I, I, I saw in the midst of this mission service, I saw one of my class, one of my Sunday school teacher, um, my Sunday school student, rather, sorry, in the person of Marlon. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. <laughs> Isn't God wonderful, brethren? Isn't God wonderful? Yes, it's so good to have him with us. Can you put your hands together for the Lord, somebody? Nothing take God by surprise. Praise the Lord, church. Nothing take God by surprise. 
And everything that happened, the Lord knows it will happen today. So we're going to worship him. And of course, the writer said, Lord, if you can use anything, Lord, use me. We have with us today, um, of course, we have our speaker in the person of Minister Vanessa Mattis. Is that right? Matty. Now, my typist have given some kind of sorry about that. It's Sister Matty. Praise the Lord. Somebody, sometimes we have typing error, but praise the Lord, everyone. Glad to have her with us. And of course, she will do the, um, the necessary in terms of um, introducing her, her company, the person who supports her today. And my visitors, I salute you all. Keep on worshiping the Lord. He's here to do exceedingly abundantly. At this time, we're going to be having. We're going to be having our speaker in the person of Sister Matty. God bless you as you come. Can we just put your hands together for somebody? Just clap your hands, all the people, and shout with a voice of triumph. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. The theme says, stay militant. Take dominion. Reap in time. Stay militant. In spite of the times, stay militant. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is there somebody who just feel like lifting their hands and worshiping the Lord? Is there somebody in the house that in spite of you're staying militant? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is indeed a privilege today to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Let me take this time to greet host pastor, Pastor Danvers, Lady Danvers, our missions director, you precious saints, in the mighty name of Jesus. You may be seated for a while. Accept holy greetings from Pastor Ronald Smith and the saints of Faith Tabernacle Fernil, in the mighty name of Jesus. We're here today, and we're here to worship the Lord. And with me today is my husband, Deacon Matty, and Sister Veronica Powell, who came along in the mighty name of Jesus. Deacon Matty, stand and give the Lord a praise. Sister Powell. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The songwriter says, You made a way When my backs were against the wall and it looks as if it was over. You made a way. And I'm standing here only because you made a When I'm 
While you stand, please turn your Bibles with me to the book of Daniel, chapter 3.
Oh, we're staying militant today. I'll read from verse 6. That's Daniel chapter 3. I'll read from verse 6. I'll read while you follow. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Therefore at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbolt, falsery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, falsery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he shall be cast into the midst of a burning fire furnace. There are certain Jews whom Thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. I'll read verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Pastor Danvers, please pray. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody lift their hands unto the Lord. And before you take your seat, tell somebody until God shows up. Tell somebody else until God shows up. You may be seated. Oh, hallelujah.
we read the story of the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I looked at the team, and it says, stay militant. These three Hebrew boys, they stayed militant. When saints of God, they were taken into Babylon and taken into the house of Nebuchadnezzar. Saints of God, they learned all that they should learn about the palace. But in spite of learning all that you need to learn, you need to stay militant. It doesn't mean that you are learning and you are forgetting who you are. But I'm here to tell somebody today that in spite of, wait until God shows up. And saints of God, these three Hebrew boys they, there came a time when King Nebuchadnezzar, he made a golden image. And saints of God, the golden image, it was that big. That saints of God, you could stand and worship it. But King Nebuchadnezzar, he had the audacity of saying, you have to bow. But saints of God, we know that we only bow in reverence to God. But little did King Nebuchadnezzar knew that these three Hebrew boys, they knew God. They serve a God who they knew would come to their rescue. So I want somebody to know today, it is a setup until God shows up. And saints of God, it went on that the, the boys, they were given a charge. Is either you bow or you be thrown into the fiery furnace. But somebody need to understand today that you need to know the God in whom you serve. You don't need to bow. And so saints of God, when King Nebuchadnezzar heard that the music was played, and the three Hebrew boys did not bow. He called them. And he said to them, is it true, Sister Danvers, that the music played and you did not bow? But I'm going to give you a chance today. Right now, I'm going to give you a chance. So right now, your back is against the wall. You're standing in front of the king. At first, he heard. But now you're standing in front of him, so he is seen. And he said, music, play. And the three Hebrew boys, they stood militant. Because they said, we are not going to bow. In front of the king or behind the king. I'm standing my ground. And so, saints of God... 
the Bible says, when the boys did not bow, the king ordered for the fiery furnace to be heated seven times hotter than its regular heat. But saints of God, in spite of that, the three Hebrew boys said, be it but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image. So king, the only thing you have to do now is just throw us. Throw us into the fiery furnace. Because we ain't going to bow. But I serve a God that even in the fiery furnace is going to show up. And so, saints of God, the three Hebrew boys, they were thrown into the fiery furnace. And saints of God, God had it to be that the king was sitting there looking into the fiery furnace. But I serve a God that when he shows up, extraordinary things are going to happen. I serve a God that when he shows up, he's going to change any situation. I serve a God that when he shows up, And so, saints of God, oh, the king saw. And the king said, was it not that we threw three men into the fiery furnace? But there is a fourth. There is a fourth man. And he looks like the son of God. God. That is God showing up. So you might be in your fiery furnace, but the Bible says, when thou passes through the water, that is the God I serve. No fiery furnace is too hot for him. No water is too deep for him. So when God shows up, you don't have to tell anybody anything. Because they are going to see. God don't show up unless he leaves saints of God something in your path for you to see. My mind goes back to Lazarus. There are so many instances in the Bible of God showing up. Lazarus was dead and buried for four days. When Lazarus was sick, I don't know how long he was sick for. They sent for Jesus. He did not come. He delayed. And saints of God, when God showed up, his sister said, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But saints of God, I know a God. When he shows up, He's going to call you forth. And when he showed up at Lazarus' grave, he said, show me where you lay him. And when, this, when he said, show me where you 
delay him. He said, roll away the stone. And when they rolled away the stone, he said, Lazarus. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And he did not leave it there. He said, loose him. He said, loose him. And let him go. Oh, so God is calling somebody today. He wants to show up for somebody. He said, lose him and let him go. When God shows up, there's a divine reversal in your situation. When God shows up, Sister Fiona, there's going to be a divine reversal in your situation. And he's going to say, lose him. He's going to say, lose him and let him go. Sister Fiona. When God shows up, when God shows up, he's going to make the wrong right. When God shows up, the blind eyes are open. When God shows up, he opens the deaf ears. When God shows up. There is favor on your life. When God shows up. He's going to lose your band. When God shows up. You're going to walk like you have never walked before. When God shows up, your praise becomes different. When God shows up. That's the God in whom I serve. When he shows up, he's going to show off. So you're sitting here today and you're wondering if and when. But don't worry, I serve a God that he will show. The songwriter says, I cry to the Lord, I need you now. And he has not appeared. But he's not going to appear when you want him to appear. He's going to appear so that others can see that he has showed up. He'll not leave you. He's not going to forsake you. Pastor Danvers, he's going to show up. Somebody here today might be wondering. Somebody might be contemplating. But when God shows up, 
is going to put peace in your soul. When God shows up, he is going to settle your worried mind. When God shows up, there's going to be light in your darkness. But saints of God, you have to remain militant. So that when he shows up, he'll find you where you ought to be. Because if he shows up and you're not there, is going to have to call you by your name. And when he calls you by your name, he knows you're out of place. This morning when I woke up, I had a very uneasy night. And I was wondering, what is this God? And I, in the three o'clock, I tried to sleep, but sleep wouldn't come. And I got up, saints of God, and I went into the living room and I took my Bible with me and I went and I sat down. And that is when God showed up. And I believe today that what's coming is better than what has been. Because what has been is because God did not show up. But what is coming is because God shows up. And I want to encourage somebody today. Stay militant. In this time, we need to stay militant. The devil is going to come at you, but stay militant. You feel like giving up today. Stay militant. Sister Danvers, every side you turn, the enemy hits you. And you're wondering, God, when are you going to show up? But stay militant. Stay militant. A soldier, when he is wounded, He knows if you can get up, get up. Because staying down means you might die. But if you can get up, if you're wounded and you can get up, get up and move. Because saints of God, when you are moving, Something is happening. I need some people who knows how to be militant. I need some people who understand that in this time, that it doesn't matter what. The devil says, it doesn't matter what the devil does. I'm staying militant.
because God is going to show up. And when God shows up, it's going to be war. But in these times, as Christians, I might want to say we have become thinky thinky. We do not understand how to stay militant. Because saints of God, last year I had a situation and God showed up. But today a different situation comes. And you want to give up. Where is the God that showed up last year? Is not that the same God you serve today? Is not that the God that made a way? So why is it that God made a way last year and he's going to leave you today so that the enemy can destroy you? As soon as our back gets against the wall and not going bother. I give you not no. And now I go back. And now I go back because they say. And now I go back because they do. But what did God say? He said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Pastor Danvers, I now come back. One Sunday you don't see me, two Sunday you don't see me. What happened? I'm not coming back. I'm going somewhere else, yes. But I would want you to come Fernil, but if you come to Fernil, <laughs> if you come to Fernil, the same way you came is the same way you're going to come back. Because you're not going to stay over there. So you need to stay militant until God shows up. You think God placed you at Luna just to look pretty. God placed you at Luna so you can stay militant. God knew that they would say and God knew that they would do but he's placed you here so you can stay militant. Change the way you walk. Change the way you talk. So when they look at you, they see a difference. Who tell you said the way you're walking is right? Who tell you said the way you're talking is right? But because Lady Danvers and Pastor Danvers says it is not right, you no longer want to stay militant. Wrong spirit. Wrong spirit. God says steer militant. And because he says steer militant, steer militant. Hallelujah. 
So when in place you are Luna, stay militant. When in place you're on the choir, stay militant. When him says stay on the prayer steam, stay militant. The song is not the one you want to sing. Stay militant. You think the correction is what you always want to hear. But God says look here. It doesn't matter what. Stay militant. And when you're walking, walk like a soldier because you're militant. the ship and it's sinking me still militant because that is what God says and because what God says is what is gonna be done so after today If you had other plans, God is going to show up. If you had other plans to move out of your position, God is going to show up. So stay put. Stay put. The songwriter says, I've been through enough to know that he's enough for me. I've been through. And that puts my mind as ease because God is going to show up. You think some of us are here because we have not been through. You think some of us are here because they have not said. You think some of us are here because they have not done. But saints of God, if you plant something here and it is expected to be watered here it is expected to bloom here so you see if you root it out pastor danvers if you root it out and you carry it over there and you plant it over there chances are it going to die yes, yes, yes. and if it don't die you're going to stay over there until they water you again 
So the soil here and the soil over there says so different. Two different soils. And some of us as Christians, we only use to this soil. You're not used to the soil over this. But yet still, you won't go over there, so. Why is it that you won't go over there, so? How is it that you won't bloom over there, so? And this is where your soil is. But some of us don't understand that this is the better soil. You love to be rooted. You love to be rooted. Well, all right. I beg of you today. Stay in your soil, man. If it means that you're sitting in your seat, Sit down in your soil, no man. You don't think God can show up sitting in your soil. You don't think God will show up when you sing on the prayer steam. Who give you authority? To root yourself up. Who give you the authority to root up and move? Pastor Danvers keep saying. Sister Danvers keep saying. Pastor Danvers keep doing. Evangelist Danvers keep doing. Because if it's just what Pastor Danvers says that he wants you to root up, it means you were not rooted and grounded. Because if you're rooted and grounded, we got an earthquake the other day. It was a magnitude earthquake. So if you're rooted and grounded, not even that can move you. So I beg of you today. Stay in your soil, man. God knows where you can bloom. He has invested so much. He invested so much in planting you where he wants you. But I want to think when the bad time comes... When they throw you into the fiery furnace. You want to move. But God has invested too much in you. And the enemy wants to mess you up. Because that's all he wants to do. When you root yourself up, he's going to mess you up. So saints of God, you're coming. 
but you are rooted up. You're coming, but you are rooted up. It don't sound like it used to. Because you have rooted yourself out of that soil. So I'm encouraging you today. Stay in your soil until God shows up. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we just come to the altar this time? The word is already gone forth. We don't need another. I don't need to come and preach another sermon or add to what she has already have been said. So can we just come to the altar, everybody? Praise him. Everybody. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Help us to be militant for you today, God. Help us to plant our feet and we shall not be moved. Jesus. Jesus is real. He's real. Oh, I know. Hold on to the person beside you. We're going to straighten each other today. Jesus is real. You are real. I don't know about you, brethren, but God is speaking to somebody. And if we don't take heed of the word of God, we are going to pay for it mighty fully too. We are going to pay for it. Jesus. He's through. 
We are going to all unite together in prayer. So we're going to hold to the person hand. We're going to strengthen each other today. That we all be militant for God. So we're going to strengthen each other right now. Right now as we pray. And we're just going to do this song two times before we pray.
Jesus one last time for you. Mambo, I am praying for you. I am praying for. your way today, God.
boca. Can we all unite and pray at this time? What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore you, God. Lord, as we come in your presence this afternoon, God, we are so unworthy and so undone before your presence, God. But God, as we come this afternoon, Lord God, laying our face before you, mighty God. Right now, God, I'm asking you to search us, mighty God. You know our thoughts, mighty God. You know where our fall short, mighty God. You know everything about us, mighty God. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we put ourselves in your hand right now, God Almighty. We shall not be moved. Whatever the enemy come upon us, God. So many things, God, we are doing that is not right in your sight. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hold our hand one more time, mighty God. We can't even walk without you holding our hands. The mountain, God Almighty, it gets so high at times. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, breathe upon this church again, God. You remind us again, God, that we must stay militant for you, Jesus. We must stay in the spot that you have put us. Because, God, if we move before the time, God Almighty, we might not know what's going to happen. God, you put a leader over us, God Almighty. I pray right now, Holy Ghost, that you will strengthen him, mighty God. That he will direct us in the path that we need to go, Holy Ghost. Breathe upon them, God Almighty. Breathe upon each and every one of us this afternoon, mighty God. And God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus, that this word that go forth, God, it will not fall on rocky ground. But I pray, God, we will place it in our heart and we will take heed, mighty God. Many words we have heard, but God, we still haven't changed. But God, this afternoon, we are asking your God that you will help us to be a different person. Help us, God, to be an example. Except help us, God, that we will serve you until our dying day. And God, you will help us, God, that we will show others the way. Help us, God, that our life be an example to others, God Almighty. Help us, God, to be our brother's keeper, mighty God. I pray right now, God Almighty, even those that are not well, God, but they make the effort, mighty God, to be in your assembly this morning. God Almighty, I pray, God, you see their heart and you will bless them according to what they have given unto you, mighty God Almighty. Have your way this morning, God, even those that are at the altar. God, cry out unto you. God, I'm asking you for a fresh touch, a fresh anointing this afternoon. Breathe one more time, Holy Ghost. Breathe like you have never breathed, God Almighty. Lord, you know the different department of the disassembly. Many times, mighty God, is not easy as a leader to carry on. But right now, mighty God, I pray for strength. 
God, when they say they want to give up, you will just straighten them, God. You will remind them, God, they are not doing it of their self. But you are with them to continue to finish this race until the end. Have your way, God Almighty. Even the speaker, mighty God. That follow your direction today, God Almighty. Many of us don't understand. We are not sensitive to the spirit. But God, as she was led by the spirit today, to remind us, God Almighty. I pray, God, you'll continue to cover her. Cover her family right now. And even for those that journey with her, I pray, God, you'll cover them, God, as they journey back. God, and as we are about to go from one another, I pray God for this week, Lord, you will remind us about your word that bring forth today. Build a fence around us. Cover us under your blood, mighty God. We know that the enemy is going to show up because when we surrender our heart to you, the enemy always show up. We are even want to do good, but evil present itself before us. But God, in the name of Jesus, breathe upon us, God Almighty. Nothing that the enemy try will not devour us this week. We are going to be victor. We will going to overcome whatever he try, God Almighty. Have your way, God Almighty, as we give you all the glory and all the praise in no other name but in the name of Jesus. Can we all say in Jesus' name? Can we say it with a meaning when we are saying it? In Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus.